there, guys. This is Lana's Enchanted Sky. Welcome. Um, I want to tell you a little bit that there's a couple things going on with me. I'm going to be having a tonsillectomy, believe it or not. So for the next two to three weeks, you're not going to hear much of me. I'm going to re pre-record everything, so I will be releasing it. Um, and they're telling me that I have to stay down um, as much as possible as an adult. It's actually kind of a dangerous surgery, I guess. Um, but I do have... a obstructive sleep apnea from it. So they've gotten just absolutely huge. So they're going to try to remove them. Um, so you won't hear from me. So no appointments, no nothing for about two to three weeks. Um, cause usually I'm getting about 15 to 20, uh, appointments a week. So just hold on. I'll be back. <laughs> um, hopefully, <laughs> uh, but please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading and hypnosis and whatever I do as soon as I get back working again. Also, please visit uh, EnchantedSky.com. You can take a look on there and, and book a reading. I just got a bunch of um, psychic portraits where I do a portrait and I'm writing down what I feel when they're talking to me as I'm drawing them. So it's a very interesting situation. A lot of people are really liking that. Another thing is my um, podcast is still doing great. Metaphysical Meanderings. I will be on there a couple weeks, but I'll be right back. And I've got some new guests, some new um, ideas for there to keep the show new. So visit that too. That's on 216thenet.com or here on Atlanta's Enchanted Sky. Joke of the day. Why did the detective stay in bed all day? Because he had to stay undercover. I know it's stale. They're all stale, but they're clean. And that's what's important, right? Blessings to everybody, and I will get get on with this everything, all right? Blessings again. Hey there, Saggies, fellow Saggies. This is your, uh, your reading for your finance and career reading for October, October, October. <laughs> I'd like to, he had, he had runes on his head, by the way, uh, he looked at it. He's got runes and yeah, the rune chart and everything. That's cool. Anyway, this is your reading for 2021. Um, I just had my tonsils out two weeks ago. I'm just now starting to talk. So you're going to see a few readings here and there. I can't talk too much. It bothers me. Um, my right side, my right ear, I've had some real chronic problems with it, uh, sinuses wise, and that's the one that's slow to heal. But um, I'm pretty much back. I would say about 80% back. So I thought I would just do some taping. So let's see what we get here. Um, I'm also doing a new system. I have uh, runes. See, they're rune, they're rune clarifiers that go with tarot cards. So you'll see how I use them. They actually are pretty cool, and they work really well. And they are working with the right messages. So let's see what we get. I feel like I need to shuffle again. I don't know why. They make me feel a certain way. And you know I'm a fellow Sag, so... They want you to meet with somebody and change your life because you're unhappy. It's that, yep. Ooh, I, I wonder if you're going to walk off my job. I'm sorry. <laughs> or something. Cause, and there's something from, from your past. You, you're cutting yourself loose. And there's a lot of money involved. You're cutting yourself loose going to something else. Now, there's a meeting that you're going to be having this month with somebody. Could be a boss, a business partner. It's somebody. And you wanting and seeking clarity. Let's see clarity. Let's seek clarity with this. Let's see what we get. The porcupine it goes right here. The porcupine means that, um, oh, how do I say this? Um, someone is not approachable. So you, you, you have your guard up. So they're telling you there's confusion. There's, there's all kinds of things going up and that you maybe, maybe it's you. You need to let your guard down just a little bit. Do a little more trusting. Okay, there's something going on here. Because I know financially, you're you're you can't take something anymore. And that you're gonna you're going to take the bull by the horns and you're going to turn it around 
The Wheel of Fortune is such a lucky card. And something's going to be, you have a decision to make. You're not sure which, which way to go, but there's, there's, it's, it's being a blessing in disguise. Okay? You're being blessed and you're like not seeing that as a blessing. You know, some of us get so locked into stability that the that the universe doesn't want you to be unhappy. And but you're you're unhappy and stuck in your position because you want that paycheck. You need that money coming in. What happens if you walked away? Well, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? Trust me, I'm a Sag to you guys. I'm doing the exact same thing right now. With my Capricorn rising, I really need stability. So, and you don't know which way to go right now. But they're trying to tell you. They're almost screaming at you. And they're telling you that the, the skill, the ability, whatever that you are doing, I'm dropping stuff, is coming from your past. So something's like, it's an old skill, it's an old business, it's an old person, something where there's an opportunity. And there's a lot of money involved. Let me give you the clarifier on that. I'm going to pick this one. It is a 15. It is the home. So it's something to do within the home. Home ownership, success, and new residence. Okay? So something's going on. Something's going on. with six, You're going to be successful. It's just a matter of you figuring out and realizing what makes you happy. Because what you're doing now, because you're going to tell you, you're cutting yourself loose. There's something happening. I'm getting this a lot in all the readings in October. Something's hidden and being released to you. Like, I, my last runs for a Scorpio, there's a windfall. There's a windfall coming. Play the lotto, you guys. I, I've been saying this for especially Sages. Remember I said a couple months ago that Sages are very lucky to play the lotto. Something's up. And I, I, I'm not going to say everybody's going to win the lotto, but something's really, really super going to go your way. Because you're unhappy and you don't need to be. The universe is trying to bless you. Okay? You're cutting out what doesn't work. That's for sure. Let's see. Let's see what we're cutting out. We're cutting out something that doesn't work for us. I'm going to... Okay? And that, that's weathering a storm or cutting losses. That can mean a breakup, too, of some type. Okay? So... Um, and by the way, if you see my cat, I've got a new kitten. And the kitten, she's really, really super active. And she's jumping up on the table and I keep yelling at her. So <laughs> um, you're trying to hold things together. And maybe you're not supposed to. The pin, it's, it's a pin. And the rune represents that. So maybe you're supposed to let go of something. Maybe you're holding on to something that was supposed to be let go of a long time ago. For me, it's my career. It's my job. And I know it. Now, the people around you, you've got tons of people around you trying to help you out. you got a King of Pentacles, Capricorn, um, Virgo, um, Taurus. you got a Queen of Wands. That could be you, because that's our fire sign. That's our signs. But it also can be you navigating your way through all this. And the King of Cups is a water sign, so he's a he's a... He's a Cancer, a Pisces, something like that. Scorpio. There's people help. I'm going to grab a clarifier. 77, which is, um, let's see, how do I describe that one? Um, the, the 77 is a vibes. Like, you get great vibes from this guy, this person. Okay? The... There's, you'll know who I'm talking about when I'm talking about it. It's kind of like that. And that's, you know, what it, what's going on. You're taking the bull by the horns and you're ending something. You know, look at how they, these cards stuck together. There's a completion and a looking forward and you're going forward. with And you're being blessed. I'm telling you you're being blessed. Okay? All right? And it, the season, the, the season of, um, of, um, uh, Gemini, I believe, or Cancer. See, it's interesting that Cancer keeps popping up. That's the that's a Cancer energy. Um, by the way, sorry, it's yeah, it's right here, putting it there. Now, 
there's a cancer coming in. I'm telling you. And this king of cups here is very, very influential. I, I want to say it's an older guy who's just, that maybe he's going to back you. Maybe he's going to say, you know what? I want to open your business. Or there's a meeting with somebody and it's, there's, you need clarity on it and you, it's an opportunity. You know, you haven't been feeling so good. You know, this card means that you're spinning your wheels and you're stuck. And that's in your recent past. And you've been unhappy, but look at cut yourself loose. This these cards this month are telling you to go for it. It's that simple. That's what's going on. Okay? Go for it. Okay? And I know that I am a Capricorn cusp and a Capricorn rising, and I have a really, really hard time not having security. But this is the one time that this is speaking to me also that we need to go for it. Okay? Let me pull my other deck. This is my Oracle deck. It is the um, it is Nature's Whispers. It's really pretty. I really like it. And it's just simpler, simpler stuff of what I'm saying. That's really what a Oracle deck does. It's just a little simpler. Okay. And I do have my deck all over the place, by the way. They're all listed here and there and everywhere. I guess I should flip them upright, right? And have them go in the same direction. So, all right. Yeah, my cat's starting to claw and stuff. So she, she's only four months old. She, she jumps up on here all of a sudden. Her name's Pearl. She's almost all white. <laughs> I named her Pearl. Okay, so be in service to others. So what you're doing is going to be work, working or helping with others. So remember that. That's a clue to what you're supposed to be doing. Show your support. You know, maybe you're supporting somebody else. I feel like showing your support, this is the guy supporting you. Okay. Amplify your positive emotion. Remember your vibes. Remember the vibes. Uh, rune? The vibes. Rune? Does it say? Look at the big picture. That's something that I need to work on. I always need to back up and look and see what's really, truly going on. Clear out the old. Yeah, if it's not working, you know, go for it. And take a pause, which means go meditate. Take a breath. Think what you're gonna, what your next move is, and then do it. It's easier said than done, isn't it? I understand. I've been there before. So you, what's going on is you have a person coming in your life that you're a little confused about. You're not sure which way to go, but they're there to help, and you need to go with it and let it happen. Remember, this is the year of change. We only have two or three more. We only have well October, and after that's two more months and. We go to the next cycle. Blessings to all you guys. I will be coming back to you with your personal relationships really soon.